Hello everybody and welcome to today's English lesson number seven. Guys, can we all turn and wave hello to our friends on camera? Okay, so first thing we will do our meditation sequence. So let's take two fingers, heart center, left hand, arm up and close our eyes. Try to maintain a straight back too. Correct posture is a straight back. Just concentrate on your breath in and out. Your chest as it rises and falls. Last few breaths now, just nice and easy. And then when you're ready, slowly come back to the room. Just open your eyes slowly and come back to the room. How does that feel for everybody, okay? Relax, very good. Now before we start the lesson proper, we'll just do a stretching sequence. So stand up and place our chairs inside our desks. Okay. So first of all, shall we go up or shall we go down? Down, down. down. let's go down first. Touch our toes. Stay there for a couple of seconds and then we will go up, up, stretch as high as we can, maybe tippy toes high and then back down and let's stay there for a couple more seconds and then back up. As high as we can and then can we go tippy toes high let's go tippy toes high very good now let's see has anybody ever done star jump we'll do five star jumps okay one two three four five okay five star jumps how many claps how? Ten. Okay, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thanks, guys. Please sit down. Okay, so welcome to English lesson number seven. Does anybody remember what we learned during English lesson number six? What was the topic of English lesson number six? I'll give you a clue. We live with them. We live with them at our home. If we talk about mom, excellent, it was family. F, 
A M I L Y family and do you remember teacher Wes through a family tree family tree remember here was me when we talk about ourselves, we say me and then who were these two father F a T H E R Father Father or Dad for short and then next to Dad was Mother Excellent We have aunt and uncle both Father and Mother and then we have So you see, G R A N D, grand. And then we say, grand father. And we have for the girl, grand M O T H E R. Grandfather. Grandmother. Grandfather. Grandfather. And grandmother. Grandmother. And the next we had, you said already, aunt. So if it's a boy, it's. If it's a boy, uncle. U, N, C, L, E. And if it's a girl, a lady, she is our aunt. A U N T, aunt. And what about if uncle and aunt have a son or daughter? They're our cousin. Boy or girl? Cousin. And then the last two people next to us, if we have. How do we spell brother? B R O T H E R. Brother. And S I S T E R. Very good, guys. You remember the vocabulary very well. Give yourselves a clap. One more time. Me. Me. Brother. Brother. Sister. Sister. Father. Mother, Mother. Grandfather. Grandfather. Grandfather, Grandmother, Grandmother. Uncle, Uncle. Aunt. Aunt. Cousin. Cousin. Excellent, good job. We remember family members very well. So now, on to today's lesson. What I'll do now, Teacher Wes will rub out the family because we've learned that already. And Teacher Wes will give the topic of today's lesson. Can we say opposite, opposite. adjectives? Objective. Opposite adjectives. Opposite adjectives. Excellent, very well spoken. Opposite, opposite. adjectives. Opposite adjectives. Any idea what it means? Okay, speak. Any ideas? It's okay if you. Opposite. What does opposite mean? Now, teacher Wes is opposite net. We are opposite each other. Now, teacher Wes is opposite Pakbun. 
Opposite means two things that are apart from one another. The complete opposite. How about adjective? Down, adjective. Pak, pang pon, adjective. Do you know what it means? Adjective is a group of words in the English language that are used to describe something. Adjective is a describing word, usually to describe a noun. For instance, I'll give you one example. Big. Big is an adjective. Big. But what is the opposite of big? Small. Small. You see? Shall I write it? Ready, small? <laughs> small. So our guys can see on video. Big. And small. Are. Opposite. Adjectives. Can you think of any more? Tall and short, excellent. Or long and short. How is teacher Wes young or is teacher Wes old? Young. Young. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> teacher Wes is old. Are the students old? No. Students are young. So, teacher Wes old. Students. Young. So here we have two more opposite adjectives. Big, small, old, young. Ready? Big, small, old, young. Opposite adjectives. Now we'll have a look at the PowerPoint presentation which will give us an idea of some more opposite adjectives. Opposite, opposite adjectives. adjectives. Yes. Beautiful. 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 Now what do we think the opposite of beautiful is? Not monkey, it's a beautiful monkey. But what's the opposite adjective of beautiful? Not beautiful, but there's a specific word. Ugly. You see, beautiful and ugly opposite adjectives. Next one. Fat. He's a fat man. Very fat. Now what do we think the opposite of fat will be? Do we know? If you're not fat, you might be thin. Yes, thin. Which one would you like to be? Would you like to be fat or thin? Yes. And look, the thin guy has a nose like teacher. You see? So fat and thin, opposite adjectives. Can we say fat? Fat. And thin. thin. Yes. Happy. Happy. Yeah. Very good. See, you know. Happy. But the opposite to happy is? Sad. Sad. Happy and sad. Opposite adjectives. Tall. Short. Like how you said before, remember? Tall and short. But you can have long and short too. It measures distance or height. Next one. Strong. Strong. Big muscles. Big muscles. And weak. Strong or weak. Okay?
So he can carry lots of bananas, the strong monkey, but weak monkey can't carry many. Big big and small, which is the example teacher Wes gave before. Now what a big a big pineapple? A big green apple? A big red apple. And a small red apple. Big and small opposites. Now look. Yeah. What animals do we have here? Do you know what the... It's like a tiger. Do you know what the fastest animal in the world is? Cheetah. It, it's like a lion. It's a big cat. That's a cheetah. It's the fastest animal in the world. Cheetah. Fast. And what's slow? Turtle. Turtle. Fast and slow. Hot and cold. Excellent, too. Hot and cold. So now you get the idea of opposite adjectives. It's two words that have the opposite meaning. Teacher okay. Wes will write adjectives on the board and I want the students to come and see if they can remember the opposite adjectives. So the first one, what's this word? Fast. Okay. How about Beautiful. The opposite of beautiful? Ugly. Remember ugly. How many? We have nine students, so I'll write nine words. Strong. Okay. Tall and fat. So we'll start with these five, okay? Fast. Beautiful. Strong. Tall. Fat. So now if teacher Wes does this. Teacher Wes has done them in the wrong order. Fast and ugly. That's not right. Beautiful and short. They're not opposite. Strong and ugly. No, Teacher Wes is wrong. Teacher's wrong. So, fast and... Okay. Ugly two times. Yes, teacher's wrong. So now, can you close your eyes? Teacher Wes will put the pen down for somebody and they have to find the line from fast to the opposite adjective. Okay, you can open your eyes now. So you see, we have fast. What is the opposite adjective of fast? Slow. So can you connect the two words with a line? Yes. Excellent. Round of applause.
high five. You see? Fast. What is the opposite of fast? Slow. Teacher needs to write a new word here. So next one. Beautiful. 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 Okay, everybody in this room is beautiful. Can you close your eyes? Okay, can you open your eyes? Chu, Chu, you are beautiful. The teacher wears is beautiful and ugly excellent high five so you can see beautiful and ugly are opposite adjectives teachers you can see the idea of the game we are playing now so if you want to pause the video and you can have a similar activity in your class and we'll keep playing for the next five or ten minutes are you strong Okay, then close your eyes first. Let's see if we can find the opposite of strong. See, opposite adjectives. Excellent, but you see that one is straight. That one was done. High five, high five. High five, high ten, high ten, high fifteen, high twenty, high twelve, thirty. <laughs> Excellent. Who shall go next? You want to go? Okay, so tall. We need to find the opposite of tall. Can we close our eyes? You can open your eyes. Teacher Wes is tall. But if Teacher Wes was like this, sure, teach. Tall. Hey, very good. Teacher Wes is short, okay? Excellent. Okay, so our last word we've got fat. Now let's see who can get it. Close your eyes. Okay. Net, ready? We've got the word fat. Teacher Wes is fat. We need to find the opposite of fat. Excellent. We've got fat and thin. High five. High ten. High fifteen. High twenty. <laughs> Rounds of applause for me. Okay, so ready? Fast. Beautiful. Ugly. Can we practice three times? Listen to teacher. Ugly. 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 Strong, weak, tall, short, fat, thin. Happy, and the opposite of happy is sad. 
Excellent, guys. Hello, welcome back to the lesson. We hope you had fun with your board activity, helping your students sort out your opposite adjectives. We've had the fun time here with ours. And you can change the words. If you can think of other opposite adjectives, you can add them in for your students to try and learn. But now, before the next activity, we'll do our stretching sequence. Ready guys? Let's give our hands a shake. Let's give our arms a shake. Stop. Shake a bit more. Stop. Hands on hips. Give a little wiggle. Stop. A little wiggle more. Stop. And how about this time if we go rounds and rounds? Stop. Back the other way. Stop. Okay. And now, stands. Like this. Ready? Ready? We'll do three. We'll do three star jumps this time. One, two, three. Okay. And then last, we'll go down into a little ball. A little ball. And we'll count from five, four, three, two, one. Jump! Excellent. Very good. Okay, guys, you can all sit back down. That's just to get us a little bit more active in between our activities. What we've got is our worksheet activity. Teachers, beforehand you will have to print off the worksheet. And it's one per student. Think back to the PowerPoint activity. We had a series of slides and they had the words for the opposite adjectives. What students have to do now is think back to the words and like we've done on the board with the matching activity, they have to match the words as opposite adjectives. So first thing, write the correct word with each picture and then find the correct match for each picture with its opposite adjective. Okay, so if you can write your names on the top of the sheet first. Chu, you. you're welcome. Down, you. you're welcome. You. You're welcome. You. You're welcome. You. Okay, you. you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Teachers, it might be an idea, if your students don't, can't quite remember, you can play the PowerPoint again for them, because all the questions are covered on the PowerPoint. And give your students around 10 minutes to complete, and then we'll see you back for the final sequence. Bye-bye. See, there's your monkey. Excellent, very well done to you. Exactly. The opposite of beautiful was ugly. Hot and cold. Very well done. Hot. H. O. T. Hot. If we're not hot, we are cold. How do we spell cold? C O L D. Cold. Excellent. And then hot and cold. And don't forget, use your ruler to 
You can write first and then you can find. If you're not big, you are small. Yes, this one big. And then we're small. Small, very small at the bottom. Small. At the bottom, the bottom one, you can just draw the line yourself because the printer has not done that. Big and small. Excellent, Pang Pong. That's big. Excellent, Preo. Nadia, okay? Is teacher in the way? Maybe teachers too. But great stuff. And then we've got tall, tall, and short, tall, short. Opposite adjectives. Strong or weak. Okay, like down, okay. Don't forget your name, too. Small is very small. Small is you can hardly see at the bottom. <laughs> sad. Happy. Sad. Fast and slow, yes. Here. Pet. Fast. Slow. Bless you. Fat. Thin. Fat. Thin. Fat is down. Fat. Thin. Finished? Excellent. Excellent, Preo. Fat? Fat is... F A S T fast. If you look, fat and fast are quite similar. It's just S is in fast. There's no S in fat. Fast, fat. Don't forget your name. Your name is Pangpon.
just be careful with hot to a H. Make sure your H, the line needs to go higher. Otherwise it will look like N. See, N, that's N, that's good. But your H looks a little like an N. Yes, go higher, higher. Hot, fast, beautiful, strong, tall, fat, happy, big, cold, ugly, short, weak, thin, slow, sad, small. Finish. Excellent. Twenty, twenty-five. Fat and thin. This one, this is strong and weak. Strong week Kang Rang on a one home yes fat thin finished inseparable inseparable head foot ear eye nose mouth tongue red fish likes to run this by my leaf leaf W E A K. Weak. weak. It says you say weak like the same as the, the period of time. <laughs> okay, that's everybody. Pet, Nadia, Net, Pakpung, Noun, Pangpon, Preo. Hello and welcome back to class. We hope your students have had fun filling in their worksheets. They should have eight opposite adjectives on the left hand side and eight on the right hand side. And then lines matching each of the opposite adjectives, like strong goes with weak okay so now we'd like to say goodbye so can everybody turn to the camera and wave say goodbye to our friends bye. and we'll see you next time bye bye